This week we bring you with us as we explore the beautiful Bay of Islands by boat, searching for dolphins and whales. We find some hidden gems and beautiful beaches in the far north, and we make our way to the most northern spot in New Zealand. If you're new here, hi. We're Renata, Josh and Gaia, a Kiwi family who love to travel. We're currently living in a van we've rented and are exploring the beautiful Northland in New Zealand. We love sharing our adventures on here with our friends and family and we hope you enjoy joining us for the ride. Morning. Morning. We're just waking up on day... Five. Five of our trip. Wow, I can't believe it's day five. We are loving van life so far. Today we are going on a boat trip. Yeah, we're going to do the hole in the rock. It's a four and a half hour boat trip, which goes out through the Bay of Islands. It also has dolphin and whale watching because there's really good dolphins and whales around this area. I'm super, super excited because I love whales. Like, they're just awesome. We're very excited for today and very excited to bring guys along with us. And then later on today, we're going to leave Pai here and we're going to head further north. We're making our way up to Cape Brianga. So we are going to have to find somewhere to freedom camp tonight, which we are excited about waking up in a new location. Been in Pai here for three nights, which is quite a long time, but there is a lot to do here. And I think we've done it at a really good pace. So, right, let's get up, guy. Are you ready to go? Yeah, you ready to go? We just got a recommendation for this coffee place and it turns out everything is vegetarian and loads of the stuff is vegan. So we've just got vegan cinnamon rolls, vegan savory pinwheel. I'm super excited. What a find. Can't believe we found it on the last day though. Oh my God, so good. We have just stopped at Otahi Bay after doing our cruise this morning. This is our lunch stop. We'll be here for about an hour. It was too rough on the water today to go through the hole in the rock, which was a bit disappointing, but not really a big deal for us. More disappointing for Josh was that we didn't see any dolphins or whales or any wildlife. So Never doing it again. That was a bit of a bummer <laughs> for Josh, but we are here. It is absolutely beautiful. We have about an hour to explore. Some people I've seen have been paddling in the water. It is actually warm enough to swim. There's food, there's drinks, there's play equipment. What do you think, Josh? Definitely the best part of the trip, for sure. We sat, had lunch, had a drink, chilled, played games, which was just nice and wholesome, you know? Thank you. So I got talking to one of the crew when we were having lunch and she said that during summer in the peak season, pre our borders being closed, there would be four of these boats coming out a day, full. And this is only one boat and it's pretty empty. Shows what an impact it's had. best part of van life is you don't really need to plan where you're going you can just go so we are leaving Pai here now we've had an amazing three days here and we are going to head somewhere north so let's get going
we have just parked up in Monganui and this is where we're going to stay for the night. It seems like a really beautiful little town. We're just going to go for a walk. We had no idea where we were going to stop tonight. So yeah, that's the beauty of van life, I guess. Let's get ready for bed. And now this is us ready for bed. We're gonna watch a movie. When Gaia goes to sleep and the lights go out, we all live in darkness. That'll be the end of our day. We stayed in Manganui last night and we have not made it far this morning. We've made it about five or ten minutes down the road to a place called Cooper's Beach. We stopped here for coffee and the water looked so inviting that we had to stay for a swim. So we have just been in the water. Guy had a great play in the sand. There's a children's playground here that she has been loving. Our van is just here. The beach is just here. The children's playground is just here. This is the great thing about freedom camping in New Zealand. This is the amazing thing about being in a camper van. We see an awesome beach, we stop, we've got all our things with us, we can swim, we can get changed, we don't have to worry about having extra stuff with us. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it so far. I think this is my new favorite holiday style. We have just got to Cape Reinga. This is the furthest north you can go in New Zealand. The lighthouse is just here behind me. We're gonna walk out there now. Tasman Sea to the west and the Pacific Ocean to the east coming together and in Maori culture and tradition they believe that it's the the male and female oceans coming together and that's in, an embodiment of the creation of life so to be honest it's a pretty stunning thing to see there's only a few places around the world you can see these sort of things sand dunes that are behind me, the sand actually came from central North Island volcanoes that erupted over two million years ago and the sand travelled across New Zealand and made it all the way up here to the very 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 top of New Zealand which is super interesting. We have just left Cape Brianga, we've driven maybe five or ten minutes down the road, seems to be our theme for the day, and we have parked up in this beautiful spot just off main road to have something to eat. This whole drive up to Cape Brianga has just been so stunningly beautiful. I kind of, I don't know, I can't believe, like, I've never been up here, I didn't realise how beautiful it was. Me and Renata both worked in travel for ten years, we still do. When it came to sending people to New Zealand, I pretty much told people not to bother with Northland because everything else is in the South Island or and coming up to Northland ourselves and then coming all the way up to Cape Brianga it's absolutely beautiful I would never make that mistake again it's stunning and somewhere that I would definitely be coming back to do you want to show everyone where you keep your dinosaurs yeah. 